I am sitting here. I have my own mic. You do, look at you. I do, yeah. I, I'm all mic'd kid. up. I'm a pro now, yeah. John always wants to work too hard. <laughs> yeah, I always want to do like the extra mile. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm doing the interview, guys. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so we're with the Abrams. Uh, actually, right. I guess the closest you'll get to a hometown artist that we're going to talk yeah, to right. this, this weekend. Close. I mean, I'm Prescott based, you're Kingston That's based, right. so That's right. really an hour apart. Yeah. Right. So, uh, and so we come all the way to here to interview you guys. Last time, I think it was in Ottawa. I think <laughs> it was, yeah, it's for like, sure. What are we going to do this in Kingston? We're that close, you know? Yeah. Um, so you're back at Boots and Hearts. Like we were just talking about it. It's this fourth year that yeah. you're here. Yeah, exactly. Um, and you've already had your set, so let's start with that. How was the set? Oh, it was awesome. You know, James and I are constantly reminded about how um, how excited Ontario uh, country fans are. Like, they just love the music. And, and um, you know, for them, they know how to party, but they also know how to appreciate music and, and come and listen and be a part of it. And that was what we found today, wasn't it, James? Like, we were... We were the first on the uh, the bill today over at Front Porch Stage, had a great time, and the crowd was packed. It was so good to see people out, hanging out, and um, and I think uh, the response here is just, it's just indicative of how, you know, how high on country music people are here in Ontario. Now, with your fourth appearance done, um, well, I guess, and fifth, technically, because you had a little pop-up show as That's well, right? right? Yeah. Um, do you find that as your name in the business uh, or in the, the world, or whatever you want to call it, grows and you become better known. Does the reception and the, the audience that you have get bigger every year that you're here? Well, fortunately here, it, we have felt that way for sure. I mean, um, you know, things go in waves and, um, and due to, you know, all kinds of variables, uh, you can have bigger crowds, smaller crowds at, at a lot of places. But fortunately here, um, we've really, we've done a, did an okay job growing the audience, eh, John? Absolutely. I mean, we. I remember the first time we played Boots, I think it was 2013. We were trying to figure that out yeah. earlier. Um, there were about 20 people in front of the stage. And here we were today. We you had about 1,500 or 2,000 people in front yeah. of the stage. It was what great. What was great was, I think, actually, the first year we were here, we had our dad. And uh, dad came along for the ride, and we had some cards. And after the show, he, you know, we actually found out that those 20 people, I think, came because he was out before the show without us knowing, handing out cards, <laughs> telling people, oh, these guys are going on, you got to go check see them out. Yeah. You know, doing some guerrilla marketing there. <laughs> so. Now, was this before Warner? When did you guys this sign was with before Warner? Warner? So we signed with Warner in, in uh, late 2015, early 2016. And so that, you know, the nice thing about Boots is we were here before we were signed. Um, we've kind of grown the uh, and the they keep wanting right you and, back and even now that you are back. exactly. So we're we love it here. We love the fans here. It's amazing. Now, how has Warner changed things for you? They're an amazing company. First, of all. I love yeah. working with Warner. I mean, it's um, like day. Yeah, yeah. We, we um, well, first of all, we love how much Warner, as a record label, appreciates music and the heart and soul of country music. They're they're amazingly. Um, you know, they're amazingly educated about the history of country music and what that means to us. And I just love that kind of support. James and I both feel that. Um, and then, of course, James and I really, we, we manage our own career. We're, we're, we're hard at work all the time on our music. And, and what they bring to the table is a lot of help, like a right. tremendous amount of help. So Fine, our first single from the last uh, record, it was in the top 40 on country radio. We'd never had that before. Uh, we just had a, 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 our first single off this one. It was in the top 50. We got a brand new single came out today. Just today, right? So it, it's it's really been an amazing ride, and there's such a great team to work with. Now you just touched on it. You have a new single out. Yeah. Like we, this shouldn't be. Oh yeah, we released a new single. You have a new single out. Yeah, exactly. It's and good old, uh, days. good old days, exactly. Yeah. So and we're talking about the good old days at Boots and Hearts. <laughs> Um, and it's off of an EP that's coming out next month, right? Exactly. September. Yes. Uh, the EP is called Reminder. Yeah. So it'll remind us of the good old days. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, that, this song is a high-energy song. James and I've been, uh, you know, really loving performing it quite a bit on stage. Even before it came out, we were playing it. For, yeah. For people, and and uh, we see the reaction we get from the crowd with the song. I think it's really special because the song, you know, it's about a couple who are appreciating the good old days while they're happening. And, and that's something that I think we can all do better instead of just constantly thinking, what's next, what's next? James and I are really, at a, we're at a point in our career, we're 18 years in, we were little kids when we started, 
we're at a point in our career where we really want to focus on on um, you know these moments as they come and and then but you know what the song is t super autobiographical it's all about you know James and I hitting the road being together on uh, as brothers out there and and uh, and it's you'll hear those lines in the song well and tying back to your your question just a minute ago about you know kind of thinking about if the audience is if the audience is growing and, and whatnot um, that's often something that in your mind you can kind of uh, can and, uh, you know, you can end up thinking about too much and miss the moments that are going on right now, you know, like thinking about how it could get bigger and bigger. And, and so um, that's always something that John and I are trying to be conscious of, of appreciating the moment now, regardless of where you feel you're at, because um, it's easy to miss moments when you're just trying to work for tomorrow. Right. Now. Right. now, uh, Kingston boys. You, you bet. Know, so Kingston and the Thousand Islands. Yep. Um, not too many country artists coming, a lot of music coming out of Kingston, true. but not a lot of country. I mean, there's sure. yourselves yeah. um, and uh, an incredible up and coming star that we've been doing a lot of, of work with, uh, Abby Stewart. Abby Stewart, yeah. You know, just I, an I, unbelievable talent. I know we, we see Abby Stewart around a lot. We also see Kyle Dunn, Kyle Emily Dunn, Bashel, right. yeah. uh, Emily Bashel. Like they, they're, they're, you know, hardworking people. And I think that's uh, great about Kingston is there's such a variety of music. Right. Um, you know, all across the spectrum, it always felt like a great home for us. What though. is I'll it? Tell you, I'll tell you, guys that have been doing it for a, a really long time, um, oh, yeah. they've worked really hard. Ambush. Ambush. Yes. Ambush from yes. The are awesome. They have worked and worked a really long time. So. And, and they're really great at what they do, you know? So I think there's a, there is a country music community in Kingston that's really awesome. We're so fortunate to, to share time with them when we do. And uh, and it's uh, it's cool to, to be able to take it, you know, to take sort of a little bit of the Kingston heritage with us on the road. Absolutely. Now, uh, so you've got the EP coming out, uh, more shows on the horizon. What are you guys doing next? Oh, yeah. So we've got, I mean, this summer's been crazy busy. We had, um, you know, uh, Calgary Stampede, obviously Boots here. Uh, we had a show in Bothwell. We were in France playing for France. a, a big cool. American yeah. rock and country festival over there. Um, we were in England this summer. It's been all over. Uh, we just got off our Sounds Good to Me tour in the States, which was about 20 shows down there. So it's been crazy busy. You moved we, out of your apartment? We did. We, <laughs> we, uh, we, we lived together, we've lived together for my 26 years. Yeah. John's, what are you now, 29? 29, 29, yeah. Okay, yeah. so our entire lives, and literally just like a about not even a month ago, we finally moved out of the same place together. Finally flew so the nest. That's a big deal for us. No, no. no more late night jam sessions. Well, no. not no, we'll make it happen. <laughs> we'll just have to schedule them now. So, well, gentlemen, it's always a pleasure. Yeah. Uh, look forward to catching right. up to you Good guys to you again. again. We will. Uh, thank you very much for taking out the time. Enjoy what's left of the weekend, right and uh, we'll see you down the road. Maybe in Kingston too. next time. <laughs> make sure you get lots of sleep. That's what oh, this festival's yeah. about. Well, yeah, <laughs> yeah really. absolutely. Yeah, I think I got three hours last <laughs> night. <so. laughs> right on. All right, thanks, guys. <laughs>